Hey everybody, welcome back to Chris and Andrew Outside. I'm Chris and today we're outside on the Potholes Reservoir. We're going to be fishing for the spring walleye again. Stick around today because not only are we hopefully going to be catching some fish, I'm also going to show you the techniques that I'm using, used in the last video and that we're going to be using today. Got my friends Darren and Evan out with us, out with me today and hopefully we come back with three limits. That's the plan. Stick around. So it's early June on the Potholes Reservoir, and this is a post-spawn period. The fish we're fishing for didn't necessarily spawn, but we do have some of the bigger ones that come out and in intermingle with them. Well, right now we're fishing submerged weed lines. I really like doing that. I like to have some kind of a structure, whether it's depth or weed line, to troll along the edge of. Water's really high right now uh, while this video is being recorded, and... I'm having to rely on my chart and graphics and electronics a little more than I normally would like to. However, it's it's creating some success, so I'm not complaining. It's just different than what I usually do. I, I usually like to just rely on on the weeds that I can see and and troll along the you know the edges of them. I think those fish kind of retreat into the weed lines when the lake gets really busy or the sun gets really high. Give it a try. It's not a bad tactic. All right, everybody, there's the first fish in the boat, second hit I had. Hopefully this is the uh, first of many. Not even a fight. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. Oh. And there's video. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we got father-son doubles going on here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This one, 17 pounds. <laughs> sure if we're inviting him back. <laughs> So this right here is an ideal spinning worm. This this worm is fantastic in how it rotates, and I caught a fish on this one shortly after. All right, everybody. So like I told you, I was going to show you how I how I fish. So right here, I've got three three rigs set up. Okay, they've got some power bait. Uh, curly tailed worms on them right now. Let's just pretend that they're actual night crawlers because I, I'm not going to do this with live night crawlers because I'm not fishing right now. So, the hooks that I've got set up right here, these are the super death hooks from Mustad. I like using a bigger hook, these are two watts, and a lot of people use smaller hooks, but while I got big mouths and I get more fish in, I think because I'm using slightly bigger hooks. So I like to tie up my leaders. I use a long leader. I also use a long fishing rod. I got nine, nine and a half, ten foot rods. I've even got one 11 foot rod. And I usually will run about a six and a half to seven foot leader. 
lot of people don't do that. A lot of people don't like that. But for me, it works. And I feel that when the fish are getting a little picky, a little persnickety, this type of a presentation does wonders. And I use a little heavier weight as well. So as you guys saw in the video, these hooks will make your worm spin. But you got to hook them up properly. So here's a couple of different ways of hooking up the worm. And this is not a proper way. This right here is also not a proper way. It's not coming down through the bend. But this right here, this is really, without me you know, being in the water right now and pulling it, this is pretty much how it should look. You want it to come midway through the bend. One of the things that people complain about when they're putting night crawlers on is that they wiggle a lot. They try to get away because you're trying to put a hook in the very tip of them. And for me, it has to be in dead center right in the very tip of that night crawler. Otherwise, I'm not getting a, a good action. So one of the things that I do is I will take a night crawler out of the bait holder. I'll grab the night crawler by its tail and, and sitting at the console in my boat getting ready to hook up, I'll do this. And I'll hit that night crawler's head onto the console, onto the gunnel. And people laugh. Usually when I tell people about, about this, they don't believe me. But when you do that, when you, you hit it, it stuns it and they go really rigid you know obviously you're bashing its its poor little head but you're about to run a hook through its brains and they don't stay still unless you bash them like that don't do it too hard because they'll break but you got to do it hard enough to stun them get them really uh, rigid and then that hook just goes right into the very center and you just feed that night crawler up it while that hook is being fed down the uh or excuse me, while the worm's being fed down the shank. And you get to the point where you know how much you got to feed onto the hook for, for it to come out so that the worm is midway through the, the, uh, the bend. So it's all about the action with these hooks. If you don't get the right action, you've got to redo it. And so, like I said, you got to hook it so that that worm is coming out midway through. If you're not getting good action and you don't think that you've got just right, pull it down a little bit more or pull it up a little bit more. Either way, you can you can position it how you need to. But this worm, get a nice tight action going through the water and, and those walleye and bluegill and crappie and bass and perch and trout will go nuts over it. Give it a try. I think you'll really like it. I think that you'll appreciate uh, using these. This is one type of hook out of many. Some other hooks have a little different action, a little different shape. Do some research, figure out which one you like, and give it a shot. I think you'll be happy. All right. Hey everybody, so we just finished two days on Potholes Reservoir. As I said a little earlier, if I leave it in there, we got limits both days. It's not been easy. A lot of people failed out here and a lot of people left and went to Moses Lake, but I'm pretty persistent and I kept us on some fish here. So these guys did really good catching fish. Evan consistently got some bigger fish. Darren, Darren caught everything but walleye. So. <laughs> We, uh, we had a great time out here, and, and I really appreciate my friends coming out. So we're going to go in. We're going to do some filleting. Got 24 fish to clean up. Appreciate you guys watching, and if you could like and subscribe, I'd appreciate that too. Take care. Be safe.